Hello, welcome to the video Hibernate Batch Update with me Nam Ha Ming from CodeJava.net In this video tutorial, you will learn how to use Hibernate Batch Update feature to efficiently uh, execute a large number of uh, insert uh, and update statements to the database So, why do we need Hibernate Batch Update? To improve performance for bug insert update, a large number of objects to the database to uh, million of records while still taking the advantages of Hibernate uh, object regional mapping features. Let's see an example. You see this code, this for loop. Tries to uh, insert uh, 100,000 uh, customer objects to the database, and if uh, Hibernate Batch Update is not enabled, uh, it will need uh, 100,000 route chip to the database. You see, but let's see if Hibernate Batch Update is enabled uh, with. Uh, for example, batch, batch size is 50. Uh, we can reduce uh, route chip to the database from 100,000 to just 2,000 route chip to the database. So, that's the biggest advantage of using Hibernate Batch Update to significantly improve the performance of uh, bug insert update. Note that Hibernate Batch Update feature relies on a JDBC Batch Update. So only the databases that support a Batch Update uh, can be can uh, work with Hibernate uh, Batch Update feature. And notice that uh, the Batch Update feature in Hibernate works. Uh, with databases that support sequence only like Oracle, SQL Server, Postgres, SQL and it doesn't work with my SQL database which uh, support uh, uh, identity column and note that during the development you should set the log level of the log category org.hibnet to debug uh, to make sure that hibnet match update is you know, actually uh, employed, actually in executed. So, in this tutorial, I will uh, show you how hibnet match update works with uh, Oracle database. And let's uh, take a quick look at how to uh, use hibnet match update. First, uh, we need to enable Hibernate Batch Update by setting the uh, property hibernate.jdbc.batch underscore shy to a value greater than 0 by default this value is 0 which means that uh, Batch Update is uh, not enabled by default so first you need to enable Hibernate Batch Update and then you need to uh, set this property to tell Hibernate uh, to order the insert statements to efficiently uh, execute uh, batch uh, insert statements. Hibernate dot order underscore insert equal to true. And for update statements, uh, you need to set two properties. Hibernate dot order underscore update to true and Hibernate dot batch underscore version underscore data to true. So uh, that means uh, to use batch update with Hibernate is very easy. Just specify some uh, uh, these uh, properties. Uh, the code remains the same. You don't have to write additional code uh, for Batch update just specify, specify some additional properties. This here Oracle SQL developer to uh, 
This is a tool that allows programmers and developers to manage Oracle databases. And you see, in this tutorial, uh, we will write a Java program to perform a batch book insert update on uh, this table category customer and uh, product and this here my Eclipse IDE and uh, this is a, a project that uh, used to uh, demo a hibernate batch update uh, you see and I already uh, write code for the model class uh, as you can see here category customer and uh, product this is very simple so in this uh, video I focused on uh, configuring Hibernate and testing the program uh, with for batch insert and update this is a code of the customer class. Note that there's a customer table. The customer table here doesn't have any relationship with uh, other tables, but the category and the product table has one too many relationship. As you can see here. Uh, a category can have one or more products, so in the product table we have the contain foreign key. Foreign key here, you see. The columns of the product table here, you see. ID, name, price, and category ID, category underscore ID is a foreign key to the category table. And the category table contains only two columns, ID and name. And the customer table contains only three columns, ID, name and email. Back to Eclipse project. Uh, this year Maven project and as you can see, I use a Hibernate uh, version 5.3 or 11 by final and uh, use uh, JDBC uh, for Oracle database from a system part and uh, note that uh, I use a log 4 j to API to configure hybrid logging so we can see more details uh, about the logging information to make sure that a batch update feature is actually executed. So uh, make sure that you add this dependency to the project to enable log for j2. And this is a configuration file of log for j2, log for j2.xml. Open it. And here we use the uh, basic control abender. Now I specify a logger to configure hybrid logging. Logger name equal. The name of this logger is actually the log category of hybrid, which is hybrid org dot hybrid, and we set it. Uh, level to debug to show the maximum show the maximum information and this logger is a console abender okay now I will show you how to enable how to configure Hibernate for batch uh, update uh, I created a console program here, single table batch insert test. I use a Hibernate programmatic configuration for convenience. Uh, you can also use uh, XML too. This is a XML configuration file of Hibernate. 
fabnet.cfg.xml and I use uh, programmatic configuration inside the code this set properties for the database connection to Oracle database uh, very uh, simple, very normal and uh, you see uh, the model class customer that maps to the customer table in the database it has uh, three fields uh, with names identical to the column names in the database that you can see here the customer uh, table here has three columns ID, name and email and know that since uh, we are using uh, Oracle database we need to use the uh, uh, generated value which changes the e sequence and since we use uh, a custom sequence name customer sequence so make sure that in the database you created the sequence uh, here you see the sequence uh, customer underscore sequence here yeah. let's write code to uh, insert some category objects sorry customer objects to the uh, customer table first here yeah, from the configuration object config I can be a session factory session factory session factory equal config view session factory and uh, from the session factory uh, we can open a session 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 equal session factory open session and from the session we can basically in a transaction transaction sorry uh, since uh, we use hibernate api only so we use a transaction from the uh, hibernate not from the, the api import transaction from org.hibernate here equal session begin transaction and first we uh, proceed a uh, single uh, customer object here new customer name is nam uh, main email is nam at oracle.com for example and then we close the close the session commit the transaction and close the session transaction commit and finally close the session factory ok let's run this program with a very simple let's proceed a single customer object and no batch update is enabled uh, just to see if it works mm. now let's see the data in the database in the uh, customer table here you see data it is uh, empty you see now we run this program uh, run as java application and you see uh, hybrid uh, Prints a lot of information, debug information, because we configure the log category org.hibernate to debug. We want an exception here because the customer class is not mapped. So we need to specify the customer class here. Config add annotated class customer dot class. Okay, we run the program again. Okay. 
and successfully and you can see I made uh, print the insert into statement here to the customer table now let's check the database uh, refresh you see a new robot inserted to the customer table nam admin nam at oracle.com here okay that means our program is working with oracle database now let's modify this program to proceed um, 10,000 customer object to the database okay so we use the for loop here for integer i equal 1 i uh, less than or equal to um, 10,000 increment I by one. Name plus I and first testing the first email plus I. This we uh, proceed ten thousand customer object to the database. Set. Uh, because uh, there are many, so many objects will be preceded. So I made we see a lot of insertion. So it's better to uh, change the uh, local level here to error. So it so less information. Okay. And we will record the time it takes to uh, insert one thousand because to the by long start time equal system current time in millisecond and after that we take the end time and we print the uh, time which is uh, end time Minus uh, start time. In millisecond. <coughs> and note that to uh, make uh, this code work efficiently to avoid our memory error we should uh, flush the session, clear the session after a number of uh, objects uh, proceeded to the database for example after every 50 objects we need to flush and clear the session if I uh, qualify session Plus and session clear. Okay, now let's run this program. Single table bash insert test. Uh, we got an error here because let's see could not execute statement unique contain customer primary key violated stop the program
let's check the database refresh Mm, to avoid this uh, error, we need to specify the allocation size for sequence uh, in the uh, customer class here, allocation size. So, high net, we uh, use uh, sequence values uh, properly. We test a small number first, 100 uh, customer. Objects, okay. For this small number, we don't need to uh, clear and flush the session. Now let's run this program again. Done. You see, time is. 318 milliseconds. Now let's check the database. And refresh. You see a lot of uh, rows was inserted, and we can check by count the number of um, row from the customer table. Yeah, this query. And execute this query in SQL developer. And if she is a count is 101. The newly 100 rows inserted plus the first one. Okay. So that's our program runs uh, very well. And I'll change the uh, look. Level here to uh, debug. And we test with a small number, for example, 20. So the logging information is small enough. It doesn't slow down the uh, performance of the program. And let's uh, chunkate data in the customer table. Chunkate table customer to clear all the data clear all the data in the customer table and let's refresh to see if the uh, data is empty now let's run this program again for debugging purpose and run program and you see a lot of information loading printed by HiveNet and, and here you see uh, HiveNet issue a lot of uh, insert statement here to the database And you can see there's no information uh, about batch update here because batch update uh, is not enabled by default. So now let's enable batch update to see. Here yeah, we need to set a property config set property. Uh, hibernate dot jdbc dot batch underscore size which is the size of each batch here we set to for example um, 5 5 statements in a batch
cat kebetis nah oke okay. and to avoid the name conflict we change uh, the counter number here to You see, twenty one to forty. Okay, and run this program again and see the debug logging information. And now you can see Hibernate uh, re execute the statement in batch here. You see. Reusing batch statement. But it doesn't, uh, uh, it, uh, so a lot of statement which is not correct. I think it's because we configure the log, root log level here set to error. Um, chain here to 41 to 60 or on this program again And you can see we have uh, batch size 5 and we insert uh, 20 objects so uh, it should execute 5 batches. Now let's count the number of batches. One, two, three, and five. You see, uh, I made uh, execute five batches. Hmm. Let me uh, change the uh, local name to org.hymen.sql And now let's truncate all the data in the uh, customer table It is empty now And we try again 20 uh, Custom objects because uh, it seems that I'm uh, for each SQL statement it brings uh, two times so it hard to to see the information so now let's I have try to change the log level here to org.hymnet.sql and now let's run this program again And you see, with this log cover, we, we don't see any batch information. 2, 4, 6, uh, 5, 6, 8, 10. Uh, 
Okay, no problem. We so we need to use the org.hamnet log level to see the patch information. Okay, so uh, now we test with a larger number amount, larger number of uh, uh, records. For example, uh, ten thousand, ten thousand, and we compare the time it takes uh, between uh, batch update and non batch update. With ten thousand, we should. Uh, uh, clear the session after a number of times if I fifty session last session clear and we comment this line this line to use uh, the default Insert of habit which is not uh, patch update, and we measure the time. Here we set the level to error. Okay. Let's truncate all the data in the customer table. Delete all. Truncate. Okay. The table is now empty. We see. Now we run this program that uh, insert 10,000 records to the database uh, with the batch uh, update enable, and we measure the time it takes. It is running. If see the time it takes is about ten thousand nine hundred eighty-eight milliseconds to insert ten thousand records to the database. I write down the time here. No batch that and we batch update we need to test to measure the time to see how batch update we improve the performance so we uncomment here to enable batch update and we use a batch size 50 okay and let's check in the database count the number of you see 10,000 records 10,000 rows in the table customer here. And now we truncate and test again with patch update. And the table data is empty now. Now let's run the, this program again. And you see, it takes only 2,000. 702 milliseconds so you see uh, with patch update it uh, very uh, improves uh, the performance five times faster you see now let's check in the database uh, count the number of rows in the customer table you see 10,000 you see very good right so we see uh, with high-net batch update, it uh, significantly reduces the time it takes to uh, insert a large number of rows of records to the database. Let me fix the uh, logging problem. Uh, I think I will need to add uh, attribute additivity. 
if t equal false here. Save. Truncate the data in the customer table. Zero row now, you see. Now I try to insert that, that stand uh, customer object. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I need to set the log level here to debug. Okay, no problem. Now another 10 uh, custom object from 11 to 20. Oh, so good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it uh, put in the number of allowing like correctly so we can easily uh, uh, spot the information in the login and you can see it executing batch try 10 so far so good <coughs> let's check the database the data in the customer table and you see, we have 20 rows now, 20 rows from 1 to 20. Okay, and now let's uh, see how a batch uh, feature works for the update statement. Let's modify this uh, program. First, we need to get uh, all the rows from the uh, customer table query. Customer query equal session create query. The query string is from customer. <clears throat> we need to use query here. Okay. And this customer list customers from the query list okay first we need to take a list of customer from the database and then we update email of our customer now for each customer the customer in list customer List customer. We update the email. Customer set email is customer get email and concatenate with uh, at gmail.com. For example, and we use a batch size is 10. Okay, we use a small number.
I think we should specify the class here. Okay. <coughs> now run this program and uh, see uh, the login information. And you can see Hibernate is used uh, update statement here. Update customer set email name ID. And it is used, uh, I think, uh, 20, 20 uh, update query here. And you can see it execute, execute best side 10. Execute best type 10. So I mean it, uh, executes, uh, two batches with each batch of size 10, 10, uh, update statements. Now let's uh, verify in the database in uh, SQL, Oracle SQL Drupal 2 here, uh, refresh and see all the email, uh, are concatenated with at gmail.com. That's for batch update uh, on a single table with uh, Hibernate. Next, uh, let me show you how to uh, uh, configure Hibernate and uh, how to write code to test uh, batch update with uh, one too many uh, relationship. Uh, yeah. Okay, so in the database we have two tables, category and uh, product here. These two tables has one too many relationship. A category can have one or more product, and the data is empty now in both table, category and uh, product. Okay, and. Uh, we have two model class, category and product here. Category, product. We use uh, separate sequence for each table. For the product is product underscore sequence, and for the category table is uh, category underscore uh, sequence. And now let's write another test program. For example, uh, new um, class. The class name is uh, one to many. Batch search test check here to generate the main method finish okay and we can copy the configuration code in this previous program we don't need to measure the time anymore so delete Delete the time here. Delete. Okay. We uh, still use a batch size 10. Okay. And we add annotated class uh, for the model class category and uh, Product category and product. Okay. Now we record to insert five categories, and for each category, we insert five products. So use a for loop. With the counter variable i goes from 0 to 5. Uh, 
create a new Cartera object name is um, category plus i and for each category we uh, create uh, five products associated with that category product product one equal new um, name price and category here name is product hyphen plus i price is for example 100 five products so copy and paste to five product one product two product three product four product five and the price is different 200 300 400 and 500 but uh, they all belong to the same category and then we need to add the uh, product to the category category add products add product one product two three four five two three four five And then we save the category. Just in dot save category. Okay, now let's run this program. That uh, uh, demo for the patch update, patch insert on the uh, one too many region ship. Run as Java application, and we see the following information. A lot of information, and you see here and you see uh, for each category, uh, I made uh, execute one batch. Let's try one category here, category here, here. Let's try one. So it is not efficient because uh, the insert statement for the category table should be grouped into one patch, right? And you can see. It uh, groups the insert statement for product table here into a batch of size 5 here. You see, batch of size 5 here. You can see total uh, 5 batches for category and uh, 5 batches for product, which a lot. We expect that with uh, batch size 10, it uh, we execute only one batch for the category and two batches for the product, right? Uh, sorry, three batches for the product because we have five plus five equal twenty five products, so three batches. So. Mm, the solution is that uh, we need to use a uh, uh, hibernate dot order insert two with this set property two, so hibernate can order the insert statement to um, group similar uh, insert statement into uh, a batch to uh, improve the performance. Okay, so we specify this property. Hibernate dot order underscore insert yeah config set property uh, hibernate 
dot uh, order underscore insert equal true. Okay. So this is very important property. So Hibernate we order the insert statement. You see. Now let's check the database if the data of the previous run you see here. We have 25 products and we have five category here. Okay. Now let's uh, run the program again. We change the counter variable from 5 to 6 here to 10 here to avoid naming conflict. Okay, and run this program again. And now you can see uh, Hibernate uh, group the insert statement for the category table here and execute only one batch of sci-fi here which is more efficient you see and for the insert statement for the product table Hibernate now executing uh, uh, you can see it execute uh, three batches the first batch of size 10 and the second batch of five size 10 and the last batch of size 5 uh, which correspond to 25 product you see so that's the effect of using the property uh, order uh, insert to here for update batch batch update let's check in the database and you can see we have another five category rows inserted here from category 6 to category 10 and in the product table we have another 25 so the total number of rows equal to 50 very exactly okay so far so good so that's um, how to uh, execute uh, batch insert for one too many uh, ship with Hibernate next uh, let me show you how to configure Hibernate and how to write code to test uh, batch update for one too many relationship with Hibernate Let's truncate all the data in the tables, um, products, and customer here. Truncate table product. Truncate table product. Okay, the data in the product table is empty. And I need to disable the contain foreign key to truncate the table mm, category. Disable the contain product primary key apply. Okay. And now I can truncate the table category. Category. Okay. Let's see data in the category table. It is empty now. Both the table category and product. Sorry, is empty now. And modify the code to insert five category and twenty-five product again. And then I will write code to update them. One too many batch insert test. Okay, done. Let's 
uh, let me check the database we have 25 products here in category we have five category here okay and to uh, enable batch update statements uh, you need to set two properties uh, you see here net underscore net dot uh, order updates and net dot batch version data to true so we need to set two properties that's two properties here order uh, update statement order underscore update to true update and uh, batch version data batch version data true and now in this program first I uh, read all the category it is this Uh, query category equal query query equal uh, session create query is a query string is um, from category category dot class and list category list category equal query list query dot list okay and for each category uh, we will update the name and update the update the name of the category and for each product in the category we update the product name for each category category in list category we update the name category set name uh, new concatenate uh, with the category name category name and for each product in the category product product in, in category red products we update uh, the product name product set name new concat with the current product name product red name and we set all the price to only 10 okay that's it and let's run this program and before I run this program let's see in the database we have 5 categories here we have 25 products here you see and now let's run this program And you can see Hibernate now execute uh, group uh, uh, update statement into batch for the category. It execute a batch of size five here, and for product it execute uh, three batches. As you can see here, see here the first batch for update product here update product the second batch of 10 here and the last batch of 5 here 
corresponding to 25 products you see and let's check the database and you see all the block name uh, got updated with the prefix new underscore here and so that's a category table here you see so uh, that's how to configure hibernate to uh, Execute uh, SQL update statement in batches. So to summary, Hibernate batch update relies on uh, JDBC batch update, and it uh, works only with the databases that support uh, sequence like Oracle SQL Server or PostgreSQL. It doesn't work with MySQL database, which supports only identity column. And during the development, you should. Uh, Configure Hibernate log category org dot Hibernate, so uh, you can see uh, uh, more detailed information to make sure that uh, batch update is uh, really executed. And uh, you need to set the property Hibernate dot JDBC dot batch underscore sign to a value greater than zero to enable batch update. And to order insert statement, you need to specify this uh, property order insert to true. And to order update statement, you need to specify two properties order update and password and data to true. Thank you for watching.